the sixth episode of Game Type, where we're well into the territory of tools that let you hone your typing skills, but still have a bit of game stuff in there to keep you interested and motivated. This episode, we take a look at Kiba.com. Kiba sets itself apart from other typing tests in that it claims to use a sophisticated algorithm to learn your weak points and then put those uh, letters in there more frequently. The way the practice is done in Kiba is quite different to any of the other systems I'm trying out. It's kind of like an endless mode in a computer game. As you type, you're feeding the algorithm data and it adapts the practice as you go. At first I found this really strange and I didn't like it since I felt it ought to tell me when to stop. I've kind of got used to it now though. You can manually adjust the letters that will appear if you think you know better than the sophisticated algorithm. And that's just typical you, isn't it? The customizability of Kiba is one of its major strengths. You can import your own text as you can in some other tools we've looked at, and you can have punctuation and capital letters removed too. Kiba supports seven languages and some alternative layouts. I also like that you can change the behavior of the cursor. I prefer it to stop when I make a mistake, as I think I need to focus on accuracy for the time being. The interface is another point in Kiba's favor. There's a dark theme, which I much prefer, although I wish it persisted throughout all parts of the site. I also like that you can strip down the interface and have the text front and center with as few distractions as possible. Apart from the ads, which I'm prepared to turn off Adblock for in this case. The stats screen looks good and presents you with a bunch of ways to visualize how you're doing, and you can share and download this data if you wish. I like that there's a little calendar to remind you how consistent you've been with your practice. There's a multiplayer that is basically type racer, and that helps to alleviate the slightly cold and isolated feel that Kiba has. It's okay, but I think stats for multiplayer races would be a nice touch, as would a slightly more original way to present the races. Overall, I really like Kiba a lot. It has a good interface without too much fluff, um, has some good stats, and some pretty good guided practice modes too. As a novice and somebody who isn't that really competitive, I don't miss the community aspect too much about Kiba. So if you've tried it, let me know what you think and let's look forward to what is probably going to be the final episode for a while of Game Type.